Jenny from Origami Tree and today we'll be learning how to make an origami mushroom. And it may or may not strangely resemble the mushroom from Super Mario, but either way he's really cute. But before we jump into the video, if you are new to my channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button for crafty fun all year round. And without further ado, let's jump right in. To make this adorable origami mushroom, you're going to need a square sheet of paper. This is a 3x3 three three inch square that is colored on one side and white on the other side. You'll need a white sheet of paper for the little dots at the very top. And for these dots, I used a hole puncher, but you don't have to use a hole puncher. You can freehand draw them as well and cut them out with a pair of scissors. Which brings us to the pair of scissors that we'll be needing as well. You'll need a writing utensil to draw in the eyeballs of the mushroom. I'm just using a permanent marker, Ultra Fine by Sharpie. And lastly, you're going to need some glue. So this is a special glue by Sakura. It's called Quickie Glue. That is like a pen. It's kind of, it's very weird in consistency, but you know, you don't have to use anything this fancy. You can use a regular glue stick or anything like that. Anything that would adhere the little circles to the mushroom. And now that we have everything, let's get started. First, you're going to take your square sheet of paper, flip it around so that the color side is facing down towards the table. Then fold the entire thing in half horizontally to create a rectangle. Unfold, and now bring this bottom side to the horizontal center crease. Flatten, rotate, and repeat the same thing on this side. Pull this straight up to the center and crease that in. Now we want to take the whole thing and fold it in half. Crease that in, and unfold. Next, we want to focus on the center crease that we just made. Take the top flap and fold it diagonally to align with that center crease, just like this. Do the same thing at the bottom, so fold it diagonally to align with the center crease and crease that in. Then flatten the entire thing with your right hand. Next, we want to flip the entire thing around, and then we're going to take this flap and bring it back. So just fold it and reverse the fold like this. Unfold it, fold it back, and then flatten the top. So let's do it on the other side. You're going to unfold this, flip it around, bring it to the back, and then flatten. Flip it around, and basically what you've done is you reverse the colors. So before this square was red, now it's white. So now let's flip it around again, back to this side, and align this point to this edge. So fold it straight over like that, and repeat the same thing on this side. So fold it straight up, align it to the edge, and then take this and fold it straight up. Now this one you can fold it in half like I'm going to do, or you can fold it a little bit to make the um, bottom of the mushroom bigger, but I like to fold it in half because I think it looks really cute like that. <laughs> and then you want to round off the corners. So we're gonna round off this bottom right hand corner by folding it up and doing the same thing on this side. So we're just rounding up the corner by folding it diagonally like that then flip the entire thing around and you have your mushroom shape. Next, I'm just taking my hole puncher and punching a whole bunch of white circles. Now, again, you can freehand draw this, but I like to use a hole puncher because look how fast you can do this. You can just, I could just do this all day. <laughs> there we go. I think that is quite enough. Maybe one more. Empty it out. Now I'm gonna use my special quickie glue pen, but you can use any type of glue that you want. And with this glue, you just draw it in. You just draw a little circle and it's kind of light blue. It's hard to describe. It's very, very watery and it's not sticky at first, but then when you let it dry, it becomes sticky. So it's kind of like magical glue. Put one right here, one right there, and one right here. And it's okay if it slips towards the edge because you can always trim that. So if you see over here, this is actually half a circle and not an entire circle. So 
So I think that is enough dots for now, and I'm going to take my pair of scissors and trim this part off because it's sticking out towards the edge. Next I'm taking a sharpie and drawing in the eyes. So I'm going to draw the shape first and then fill it in. And you are completely done with your mushroom. Thank you so much for watching and also for sticking around until the very end of the video. I always appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Also the notification bell to be alerted of new videos when they come out. I post new crafty fun videos all year round. Would love for you to join me. Let me know in the comments if you played Super Mario growing up. I played a little bit, but it was mostly my brother playing and I just kind of watched. But anyway, I'm going to go. See you next week. Bye!